Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, this is Mike, and today we are starting something new. I'm going to call it the No Sugar Challenge, where everybody's lighting yourself on fire, dumping buckets of water on their head, taking glasses, sucking them to their face for the Kyla Jenner Challenge. Those really don't mean nothing. ALS, throwing a bucket on your head, it's more uh, exciting to watch the bucket fall out of people's hands and the bucket land on somebody's head, okay? I watch a lot of videos like that. But today, we're having overweight and obesity awareness, okay? So we're going to start the No Sugar Challenge. Really, what the, what the challenge entitles is going to the grocery store and buying stuff that contains the least amount of sugar or no sugar at all, all right? It's really that simple. We know now, with the studies that have been done, sugar, refined sugar is the major number one cause of, of overweightness and obesity in America, if not around the world. Refined sugar, okay? All this trans fat, all this no cholesterol, all this other crap that, that are marketing gimmicks, low fat, fat free, that means nothing. Nothing, nothing, because all they do is just load it up with more sugar, all right? So, um, what we're going to do is, uh, we just went grocery shopping, and this is me and my wife's typical routine that we do, uh, is we try to cut down our sugar intake by as much as possible. Does it mean that we don't have sugar? Of course, it's, it's almost impossible to try to find stuff without sugar in a grocery store. So, what I'm going to do is take you on a little tour of our refrigerator, of what's in your refrigerator. So, here we go. Okay, so here we go. Let's open her up. Okay, so this is pretty typical. This is not nothing new. I didn't do this just for the video. Um, this is pretty much how we eat. You know, uh, my wife is used to eating healthy, so there's no reason why I can't eat healthy. So right here we have some, uh, some lettuce, spring mix. We have some kale. I have some fruit that I cut up from a while ago. We have some celery. Um, we have some meats. You know, I like salami. I know it's not much, most, most healthiest. And then we got some uh, some ham here, uh, eggs, you know, feta cheese for my salad, you know, you can see though, you know, no sugar, you know. Uh, back there we got some, some mushrooms, and here we got some cottage cheese, my wife likes that, I, I don't. <laughs> we got some pickles, we have more pickles. Back here we have some spaghetti sauce, that has sugar in it, I just want a little bit for my spaghetti, it's the first time I ate it actually in months. So I got some, some cut ham, some bacon, some pork sausage. We just bought this today. Polina, basil, and garlic. I guess you heat this up. It's kind of like a cream that you put on some things. First time trying it. So, but you know, uh, the key uh, ingredient that we're looking for is sugar. And there we go. No sugar. All right. Sugar is zero. Okay. So down here we have some honeydew melon. Got some milk in the back there. You know, vitamin D milk, the red top. Got some cantaloupe, red grapes, green grapes. Inside our fresh drawer, we have, you know, a, I can't really see it that well, but a ton of cucumbers. We have some beets, because my wife likes to make borscht. We got some peppers here. Uh, we got some ginger root, which we make for our, our mean green juice. All right, we got some lemons. All right, what else do we have here? We have some, uh, you know, onions, carrots, uh, let me see what else, hold on, let me stop this thing from beeping, here we go, okay, down here we have some cabbage, tomatoes, broccoli, I'm not a big fan of broccoli, okay, so in our freezer we have some scallops, we got some turkey meat, turkey ground, ground whatever meat, we got some Smithville bacon, you know, we got some uh, chicken here, bone chicken, good old favorite, vodka, the cheap stuff right there. All right, so that's what's in our freezer. Okay, down here we have our sauces. Now, this is really a, a big thing because everybody, you know, likes to eat sauces with everything here in America, okay? It's just what we do. So, you know, obviously mayonnaise, we, we know that that's, well, fattening, but zero sugar. Relish, it's got a little bit of sugar here. Hold on a second. Let me stop this thing from dinging. All right. Uh, honey mustard. Honey mustard, I mean, uh, Dijon mustard typically has no sugar. You see there's no sugar in there, okay? 
Now, my honey mustard I like. Of course, it has sugar. I know that for a fact. Uh, let me see. Sugar is four grams. You can see that, okay? But, you know, El Diablo has none. The French's Hot Mustard has none. Let me see if we have some, some Green Verde. Tomatilla. It has one gram of sugar. Now, four grams of sugar is equivalent to one teaspoon of sugar, just to give you an idea, okay? We have more salsa, more salsa. My wife's uh, city, city Steam, the Naughty Nurse beer. It's probably going to taste like crap. Down here, of course, you know, we have a host of other things. Sesame oil, no sugar, sweet and sour sauce, of course, loaded with sugar, A1 sugar, horseradish, no sugar, cocktail sauce, no sugar, eh, you know, yep, hot fudge, gotta have my ice cream every now and then, but you see, there's no cookies in here, there's no ice cream, there's really no fatty, fatty food uh, stuff in here. Okay, so down here is some stuff that I went and I found uh, that have uh, no sugar, okay? Because I like eating salads, okay? And salads, this is my favorite, some of my favorite stuff right here. This is Ken's Steakhouse Light Asian Sesame. Let's look at the sugars. Seven grams of sugar, nearly two teaspoons of sugar per serving, okay? Don't get that wrong. It's not the whole jar. It's per serving, so it's just loaded with sugar. Obviously, lemon sauce. Here we have some Italian. Zero sugars. This is Drew's. They had a lot of them with zero sugar, so um, roasted chili Thai garlic. This has got 21 grams of sugar. Now you're only allowed, the allowable limit is uh, six to nine gram. I mean six to nine teaspoons of sugar. So you can see that we're even pushing the limit with this. For that, that's five teaspoons of sugar per serving. Okay, now we got this uh, pesto right here. This is zero sugar, hold on. Right here, sugars, zero. So we're gonna try that, never had that before. Garlic Parmesan, never had this before, but uh, again, zero sugars. So I'm not too worried about the calories of it. I'm more worried about the sugar, okay? You know, if you go to McDonald's, it's probably most likely the sodas that are killing you. All right, and all down here, we have your conventional, typical, Salad dressings, they all contain sugar. Okay, so these are all the old stuff right here. So I'm trying all the new stuff here. All right, so if we go over here to our dry food stuff, you know, of course, you know, I have, you know, Tostitos, but that's the only junk food that we have in our whole house is Tostitos. So we have, you know, uh, some all natural peanut butter. Of course, you know, we know that that's going to contain uh, sugars, but it's only one gram. Okay, not too bad. All natural. Pinto beans, this right here. Here's your pasta sauce right here. Let's see how much, six grams of sugar, okay? One and a half teaspoons of sugar just for some pasta sauce. Why you need sugar in that? I really don't know, but it's there, okay? So we have some other things. Syrup, uh, you know, we don't eat syrup a lot, you know, so not really too worried about that. You know, we have our salts, coconut oil, a couple little spices. You know, down here we have, you know, our apples, uh, kind of like uh, oatmeal or porridge is what my wife calls it so you know honey we've got some pineapple sauce sunflower seeds prunes uh, potatoes apples right there so um, you know that's pretty much it so I mean out of everything that you even see here we got some bananas over here too so you know we keep our juicer you know on hand you know that's uh, that's a no-brainer you know so um, here's a little grilling thing, you know, just for a quick grill. Um, but as you see, we have a really, really low sugar intake, okay, out of everything that we pretty much do here. So um, that's the challenge. No sugar challenge. Buy as less sugar as you can. And to make uh, people aware of the obesity problem that is going on in our states, okay? Our countries around the world, okay? It is a problem, and the biggest beautiful campaign is not cutting it. That is not a problem solver, okay? You're just teaching people to be fat, and that's okay. That is nonsense. That is nonsense, nonsense. We need to get it out of your head. That is 100% nonsense.
okay? You are killing yourself and you're trying to be beautiful and happy doing it, okay? That is the most stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. Thanks Oprah Winfrey. Thanks Ricky Lake. Thanks to all the people who probably got paid to sit there and tell you that you're beautiful no matter how fat you are. Okay? Everybody is beautiful on, on the inside. Okay? For the people that take all these photo shoots of big huge women in underwear or lingerie that are clearly obese. Okay? Instead of going to the photo shoot, you could have took that time and you could have uh, you know, ran a mile, you could have worked out at your house with a, with a TV program or something, but no, you want to try to get famous being fat in lingerie, bouncing around like it's the cool thing to do. Get it out of your head, okay? No sugar challenge. I, I, I challenge you to have as least amount of sugar in your house as possible. Thank you.